Today, I want to talk about how short interest in AMC and possibly the FTDs too are at all time highs. I want to explain exactly what product these shorts are using to hide their short interest, to try and make us all think they've disappeared and close their short positions. So stay tuned and let's make some money. And now I'll dive straight in with the key information. So it all started when I saw this tweet from Zero Hedge and it really got me thinking. They tweeted saying hedge funds have learnt from Plotkin's mistakes and instead of shorting single names directly, they short ETFs. So that means they're not specifically shorting AMC shares, they're not FTDing on AMC and they don't have short interest in AMC. They have short interest in those ETFs. Goldman Sachs have even said that short interest in the typical stock remains low, as funds have increasingly hedged using macro products like ETFs and futures rather than single stock shorts. And then I was also thinking about single stocks and it really struck me about those single stock short ETFs in specifically companies like AMC, GameStop and other meme stocks. Now, Crystal Ball is also tweeted saying, for the love of Moas, don't trust any data the shorts put out. And that I completely agree with. Obviously, the shorts don't want to expose they have massive, massive short interest. So they're reporting minimal short interest in AMC specifically because they're shorting ETFs instead. And literally just today, Granite Shares has filed to increase the leverage amount on a slew of its single stock ETFs to 2x to increase the fun, I mean, volatility. So Granite Shares specifically has just increased a number of their single stock ETFs. These guys just have ETFs for Meta, Google, Amazon, Coinbase, Nvidia, Tesla and others from 1.25 or 1.5 to 2 times basically now allowing you to short double the amount of Coinbase shares that you did previously. Now, Granite Shares hasn't specifically changed AMC here on this list, but they may have changed it previously. But the bigger company offering these single stock short ETFs is Rex Shares. So not long ago, a couple of weeks ago, as of October 28th, you can now short double the amount of shares three ETFs that you previously did. So when you see a low number of FTDs in AMC specifically, like we have for October, that may be because the real FTDs are in those single stock short ETFs. But also considering their ETFs, allowing you to take double the exposure on shorts, maybe those ETFs aren't even incurring FTDs because maybe Granite Shares and Rec Shares can just continue increasing the exposure on those ETFs, allowing them to short more and more and more. And also when you see a small short interest like 9.7% on AMC, don't think that it's below 20, 30 or 40% and therefore the shorts must have closed because the shorts are shorting ETFs instead. As this tweet from Zero Hedge says, these hedge funds have learned from Gabe Plotkin's mistakes and they don't want to openly expose when they're shorting companies like AMC at all time high levels. And therefore they're not shorting the single stocks directly, they're shorting through ETFs and futures and maybe other macro products or complex derivatives. We also had another banger of a day today in the Millionaire Mindset Trading Group with S&P 500 $456 call options, which I alerted at 2.33 UK time or 9.33 AM market time. You can see those options ran from around 60 cents per option all the way up to over a dollar per option for a whopping 62% gain. You can also see in the group, not only do I alert when I'm buying those options, but I also give regular updates as to how the options are doing so you can decide for yourself when you want to sell at. So that way, even if you're working, you're still getting phone notifications on exactly how your options are doing without having to look at the charts 24-7. So if you guys want to learn not only how to make 60% on a daily basis, but also learn how to trade options, be sure to join the Millionaire Mindset Trading Group linked in the description below. Now, as I say, these single stock short ETFs haven't just been created a few days ago. They have actually been around since August of 2022. 
But at the same time, I think these hedge funds have stopped using products, maybe like total return swaps, in favor of these short ETFs. Clearly, the Fed is really cracking down on these total return swaps after what happened to Arkegos and some of the other banks that are in sketchy positions. So they're being turned around to different products like ETFs. And especially with these short ETFs, having a short exposure on these ETFs doesn't give you the short exposure on the stock directly. Yes, obviously by shorting the ETF, it pushes the price down, but you don't have to report short interest on AMC because they're not shorting AMC, they're just shorting an ETF. Even though that ETF is solely holding GameStop shares or AMC shares, or I guess more specifically, AMC shorts. This is something really, really interesting, and I think it really explains to me why we're not seeing all-time high levels of this short interest. And again, also why we're not seeing all-time high levels, especially in October, on FTDs. They haven't closed out of their short positions at all-time low levels, completely disappearing that short interest. They've just simply changed the shorted product. And Crystal Ball has also tweeted this screenshot with the tune, another one gone and another one gone. And that's after Blackstone has just shut its multi-strategy hedge fund after their assets fell 90%, saying the fund has suffered a $1.5 billion fall in assets since the end of 2019. And what's really interesting is check out this tweet from Samuel Clemens about how the Blackstone Alternative Multi-Strategy Fund actually had short exposure to stocks like AMC. He tweeted saying, seeing Blackstone closing the fund, it was short a lot of meme stocks going into January of 2021. You can see here the Blackstone Alternative Multi-Strategy Fund had short positions in AMC Entertainment and short positions in GameStop as well, as well as some other short positions in companies like Ocugen and maybe others as well. Now, what I find most interesting here is the fact the fund has fallen 90% since 2019. But if you look at the majority of stocks in the market since 2019, they're actually still up. Yes, many of those stocks are down on 2021 levels, like the peak all-time high of December 2021, but those same stocks are actually still up on 2019 levels. So how on earth have they lost 90% of their fund when actually the majority of stocks are above 2019 levels? Hey, many stocks are even above 2021 levels now, like Nvidia. Unless, of course, they got caught up in some really dicey short positions, like shorting meme stocks. Especially shorting memes through January 2021, and maybe they're still continuing to hold those shorts to this very day because they couldn't close out of them, and that's why the fund is down so significantly. I also found this tweet from Robert about Citadel very, very interesting too. You may have heard Ken Griffin wants to buy a share in the Miami Dolphins, in the F1 Miami track, and some other bits and pieces as well. But Robert tweeted, he said, if you haven't figured it out yet, Ken Griffin is trying to buy everything he can before the liquidation event, so they don't take it away from him. Especially if you've noticed, everything Ken Griffin is trying to buy is currently in Florida. That Miami racetrack in Florida, Miami Dolphins, Florida as well. And that's because Florida has that rule where even in a bankruptcy, they won't take your personal residence or many of your personal properties. Saying here, under Florida bankruptcy laws, you're allowed to exempt an unlimited amount of value in your home or any other property which is covered by the homestead exemption. There's also other kinds of property that can be protected during a bankruptcy, such as a car and retirement accounts too. It wouldn't surprise me if there's even more nitty grittiness to these rulings, allowing Ken Griffin to keep assets like a Miami racetrack, the Miami Dolphins, and other assets too. But guys, be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below. And as always, guys, be sure to ding that notification bell, because that way you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. Cheers.